On October the 7th, the war in Afghanistan will be 10 years old, almost as long as the First and Second World Wars combined. It's time to ask, what is the true cost of the war? In 2001, Britain and the United States invaded Afghanistan and over 3,600 innocent Afghan civilians were killed. But as the focus shifted to Iraq, spending and civilian deaths in Afghanistan fell and in 2004, the Ministry of Defence claimed the war cost just 46 million and the life of only a single British soldier. Today that's no longer the case. By 2010, the war was costing four and a half billion pounds every year and a hundred British soldiers were killed. It was 100 times as costly and bloody as it had been in 2004. The war is currently costing us over 12 million pounds a day. That's the same cost as employing 100,000 nurses and 150,000 care workers. The total cost of Afghan civilians dead, like the cost of war, is unknown. But cautious estimates exceed 40,000 people. Worldwide, it is the source of 3 million refugees. This is a war that neither we nor the Afghan people can afford. If you, like 74% of the British public, want to end the bombing and occupation of one of the poorest countries on earth, join with us on October the 8th in Trafalgar Square and send this message that four more years of war in Afghanistan is unacceptable.